We're going to set up our shooting mechanism, which should be very familiar by now, but there will be a few differences. So I'm just using our sprite player laser, which is 16 by 4. The origin point is at 0 with a y of 2. And I've created an object from this object player laser. Let's set up the laser object first. When a laser is fired off, it needs to be in the same direction as the player. So let's add an event, create, we'll come over to control, and we will set variable image underscore angle, and we're going to set this equal to our player angle. So obj underscore player dot image underscore angle. Click OK. And then we need to give it a direction to go in and a speed. So let's come back to move, add move free. Our direction is going to be equal to image underscore angle with a speed of 12. Click OK. And then to make this like asteroids, we have to add two more things. First of all, the lasers have a lifespan, which means they will disappear after a certain amount of time. So let's come to main two, set alarm, and we're going to set this to 30 steps, so one second. Then we'll add an event, alarm, alarm zero, and after those 30 steps, come over to main one, we will have it destroy, instance destroy itself. Another thing about asteroids was that the lasers could wrap around the screen just like the ship could. So let's add event, other, outside room, come back to move, and this wrap screen again. Make sure it is set to both directions. Click OK. So we can close the object and open up our object player. So we'll set up our firing mechanism just like we always do. In the create event we will come to control, set a variable. Variable will be is underscore firing set to false. We'll use the space bar to fire, so add event, keyboard space, then we'll test a variable, see if is underscore firing is equal to false, then we'll drag in some blocks. First thing we need to do is set a variable, is underscore firing equal to true, and then we need to create our laser, so come to main one, create instance, drag that underneath, the instance will be our object player laser, set to a zero, zero relative. And then we need to reset our firing mechanism. So come to main two, set alarm. We're going to set this to five, click OK. Then we need to add event, alarm, alarm zero, come back to control, and set our is underscore firing back to false. But unlike our previous games, we don't just want to be able to fire as much as we want. In Asteroids, you had a limited number of shots that could be on screen at a time. So we're going to come back to Space, and over here in the Control tab, in our Questions, we're going to find this little ball with a 1, 2, 3, this Test Instance count, and drag it underneath our Is Firing variable test. And so we're going to see if our object laser is smaller than 3. If you want to be able to shoot more lasers, just increase this, but 3 will add something of a challenge to it. So click OK. And before we go testing, let's add our teleport functionality. In the original Asteroids, this was used with the Shift key, so we're going to add event, keyboard, Shift. We will set a variable, and we'll change our X to a value of a random, parentheses, 640, close parentheses. 640 is going to be the full width of our room, but I don't want to be able to teleport right on the edge. I want to stay within a certain boundary of the screen. This random function is going to give us a number between 0 and 640, but I'd like to pad that with about 50 pixels, so I'm going to add 50. But now this will give us a value between 50 and 690, so I'm going to have to subtract from this maximum number in order to keep it 50 pixels from the other edge. But just subtracting 50 is going to bring us back to 640, so I have to subtract 50 more. So basically just 100. So instead of 640, I'll change this to 540 and click OK. And then I'm going to set another variable, and this is going to be Y, and it's going to be set to a random, open parentheses, 480, 
close parentheses. 480 is the height of our room, but again I want to add that 50 pixel buffer. So I'm going to add 50 more, and I'm going to subtract 100 from this. So make it 380, and click OK. So now when we hit Shift, we'll move our X and Y position to some random location on screen. But we don't want the player to just be able to spam the Shift key. We want there to be a slight delay in when they can teleport. So let's come back to our Create, and add another variable. This will be is underscore teleport, and we'll set this equal to false. Come back to our shift, and we're going to test and see if we are teleporting before we actually teleport. So drag a test variable up to the top, test for is underscore teleport equal to false, then drag some blocks above and below, and we want to set our teleport to true when we're teleporting, so above our setting x and y, we will set another variable. This will be is underscore teleport equal to true. And then of course we want to reset that, so we'll come back to our main two, set alarm, drag that to the bottom, and since we already have an alarm, we need to set this to alarm one, and we'll set it to 15 steps. So the player has to wait half a second before they'll be able to teleport again. Click OK. And now let's add that alarm. Add event, alarm, alarm 1. Come back to control, set variable, is underscore teleport equal to false. OK, so let's give it a try. You can move forward a little bit and shoot. And you can see I can only have three at a time. I have to wait until they disappear to be able to fire more. If I get close to the edge of a screen, they come around on the other side, but they do disappear after a few seconds. And now let's teleport. And we move around the screen, but we are still within a boundary, not quite at the edge of the screen, which is just what we want. So now let's move on and create the asteroids.